I'm Tanya Wayne and I'm an Outreach Manager here at the National Women's Law Center. Today for Earth Day, I have the pleasure of talking to you about Dr. Wangari Matai, who in 2004 became both the first African woman and the first environmentalist to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Dr. Matai had a very simple plan, to start a grassroots tree planting program to address the challenges of deforestation, soil erosion, and the lack of water in the community. Little did she know that her vision would launch an environmental revolution that would use tree planting to empower women in her community and around the world. The Green Belt Revolution has not only mobilized the planting of over 30 million trees around the world, but it's also helped to protect public and private lands, um, different important cultural sites, and urban areas. And being an environmentalist doesn't mean changing the entire world all at once. It only takes small steps, learning about important facts and being very conscious about the decisions you make in your everyday life. For example, do you know that if you regularly, that we regularly recycle all of our aluminum cans? According to the EPA, our aluminum cans account for less than 1% in our total U.S. waste stream. However, if we don't recycle our cans and just throw them away, they can last in the environment for over 500 years. That makes a huge impact in our landfills and in our earth in general. So doing small things like reducing the amount of things you consume, reusing what you can, can consume, and recycling every day makes a huge difference, not just today on Earth Day, but every day. We here at the National Women's Law Center wish you a happy Earth Day. Thank you very much for watching.